Yeah, former police chief, uh, Durham police chief, C.J. Davis, just wrapped up. She spoke about uh, the fact that you can't arrest crime away. This is one of the things she spoke about to the task force, taking more so of a holistic approach. The task force for racial equity in criminal justice says since its creation, there have been many successes, including restricting, restricting the shackling of pregnant women who are incarcerated, establishing a duty for officers to intervene and report when they witness another officer using excessive force and granting prosecutors flexibility to charge 16 and 17 year olds as juveniles instead of adults. So a little background, the 25 member task force was first established in June of 2020 by Governor Cooper following the death of George Floyd. Since then, it's examined policies and procedures within the state's criminal justice system that affect communities of color. Former Durham Police Chief C.J. Davis spoke on law enforcement culture, her experiences from working in various states and agencies. Here's what she said about working in the Bull City during her time there. The, uh, uh, the Bull City has really uh, skyrocketed probably in the last 10 to 15 years. And I was able to witness some of that while I was there. So the growth of the city really helped shape the culture of the police department as well. And Governor Cooper kicked off the meeting by speaking to his commitment to this moving forward. I'll have more ahead at 4 and 430. We're live in Raleigh. Akila Davis, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. All right, Akila, thank you.